Hmm. I wonder what a literal Kickstarter would look like. Like this. Ow! Oh, it stinks. And I'm excited to show you today what we've been working on for the last few months in absolute secrecy. Identity is an MMORPG that's unlike any other... Identity is a highly ambitious MMORPG that aims to replicate today's world. You can run for governor or go completely the other way and become a crime boss. There is no AI, with every character in-game being another person playing. This does allow for a lot of real interaction, but means the game will rely on a sizable player base from day one. Also, the scope of this game, which encompasses karaoke and paintball minigames, farmland and city locales, shopping, hunting, and hundreds of career options, covers so much that we're worried every feature won't have enough time dedicated to it. We know we're being a bit cynical about identity, but if what is promised is delivered, we will have a GTA meets The Sims MMO. The long-running CRPG series based off the tabletop game of the same name was stunningly revived on Kickstarter in 2012 with Shadowrun Returns. Developers' harebrained schemes were unable to secure funding for their game from publishers, mostly because of the doubt caused by the unpopular 2007 FPS Shadowrun game, so they turned to Kickstarter. And what happened was astounding. Shadowrun Returns was the third Kickstarter to pass the million dollar mark and the ensuing game was a big hit among the fans that funded it. Now, Hairbraid Schemes are back and asking for their fans of the series to co-fund its next Shadowrun instalment and effectively keep its production independent and free of publishers. The new setting, Cyberpunk Hong Kong, was chosen by backers and is evidence of how Shadowrun Hong Kong is made primarily with the fans in mind. For newcomers, you can expect the tactical turn-based combat and brilliant narrative driven by the characters, story, writing and atmosphere that the Shadowrun series is known for. Moon Man is another Terraria slash Starbound inspired game. It's 2D, there's voxels, digging, crafting, building and a lot of exploring. At the moment, it's hard to tell if it changes the mechanics formula enough to differentiate itself, but there are a few promising additions we know of. There is a clear goal, collecting moon fragments to light up the dark world, often absent in these kinds of games. The Moon Man is a purposely simple and derpy green-faced individual who can don lots of peculiar armor that gives us vibes ranging from cute to hotline Miami creepy. Think pig mask. And a lot of the art, particularly the different biomes and plant-based creatures, are very appealing. Moon Man has been in development for two years, and this Kickstarter will hopefully give developer Ben Porter some more time and outside help to finish the game. Drift Stage is a classic arcade racer modernised. Everywhere you look you can see the influence from the past, whether that be the 90s 2D art reimagined in 3D, or its tight drifting based mechanics. It is certainly no racing sim with deep physics and car mechanics, but that means we get some good old fashioned pick up and play arcade gaming. In fact, it appears to have the accessibility of Mario Kart without the randomness. Yep, no blue shells. Where it really shows its modernisation is in its array of modes local and online multiplayer, endless drifting, career mode, daily challenges, workshop, time trial and single races against AI. Drift stage is highly stylized with a sharp color palette and some groovy 70s, 80s and 90s vehicles that in all would be satisfying enough just to gawk at. But if you pay, you can play. Into the Stars is a space journey in pursuit of a new home for humanity that plays like faster than light and feels like space epic such as last year's Interstellar. Gameplay mainly focuses on management. You have a finite amount of resources on board, but you can send a crew out on an expedition on a nearby planet to find replenishments. But you don't know what's on the planet. The mission could be dangerous and lose you vital crew members, so do you send out dispensable squad members or ones who are more likely to do the mission successfully? And then there is a chasing pack of space pirates to factor in, so you can't stop for too long, 
which limits how many resources can be brought back to the ship. This cool game is supplemented with beautiful visuals, the ability to toggle your view from the bridge to the outside of your ship, an open world, and an interesting volley based combat system. Into the Stars looks like the closest any of us can get to experience a real space expedition into the unknown. That's it guys, Kickstarter's back and it'll be here all year. Thanks for watching, my name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh, we'll see you next time here on Indieformer. Hmm, 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 hmm. I wonder, I wonder, what, I wonder what a literal Kickstarter would look like. Ow! Not good! I don't think you can do that. Hmm. I wonder what a literal Kickstarter would look like. Like this. Oh, it stings. Picture, I'll look at the other way.